Hi, welcome to a and Jukebox Repair, your one-stop source for all jukebox repair service and replacement parts. My name is Bruce Wentworth and I'll be your instructor today. Today's session is going to be on installing a new optical switch to your old optical switch bracket. Um, the optical switch is something that we've come to find out that over the past 25-30 years they are starting to go bad now. So after about 25 years, this is an optical switch assembly. And what, you, what it is, is it's a plastic housing here with four wires coming out of it when you have this plastic sleeve going to a five-prong plug, Molex plug. Okay, the problem is, is this switch itself, that's a sealed unit, is starting to go bad. Now these switches have probably been, been out there now for 25 to 30 years on the original equipment. And we used to replace probably one every two or three months. Now we're doing about one a week, one to two a week. So if you've had your jukebox for, if it's been like 25, 30 years now, and you've never replaced this switch, chances are you're probably going to have to do it in the next few years. So when you go to do it, this is how you're going to do it. So this is the switch assembly, okay? And this is the new switch assembly. As you notice, there's no bracket. So you're going to be mounting this onto this, okay? And as far as removing the switch assembly from your jukebox, we have a video on how to remove an optical switch and how to install one. So this is not going to be on how to remove or install. This is just going to be on how to mount the new switch to the old bracket. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to cut this plastic tie right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Cut the tie. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is a number one Phillips screwdriver. And the actual housing has two flathead pan, pan head Phillips screws. So we're going to remove the screws. Here's one, and there's two. Let me just get that one finished out. Okay, once you do that, the unit's going to slide right off, just like that. Okay, we're going to put that down, and we're going to grab the new switch, and we're going to bring it over. Here's the new switch assembly. Now you say to yourself, how does this mount? Does it go on top like this? Like that? No, it doesn't. It goes on the bottom. But you want to slide the cable between the middle, like right there. The cable's going to be on the inside, and the switch is going to be on the bottom side. So I'm going to grab the screwdriver now with the Phillips head screws, and I'm going to mount it back on. Line it up, put it in, tighten it up. We're going to do that to the second screw. Put it on the screwdriver. Line it up the hole. And go ahead and insert it. You don't have to go too tight on these. This is not a moving part. It stays stationary, so it's not going to go anywhere. All right, so once that's done, now the last thing to do is to put your plastic tie on this so this doesn't go waving around too much or the wires don't get too much stress on them. Um, this, once it's mounted, the stress, what shouldn't be any stress on the wires anyway. So you're going to take your plastic tie, you're going to insert it through there like that, and you're just going to bring it through the hole. Once you do that, start closing a little bit. Don't close it all the way. Leave some room because you've got to position the sleeve inside it, underneath it, just like that. Once you do that, you can go ahead and tighten it. Now, you can tighten it with your fingers like this, okay, and that's good enough. Or you can take a little pair of pliers of some sort and just put a little more tension on it, like that. Once you've done that, all you have to do is cut it. So that's how you properly mount a new optical switch to its bracket. Now, keep in mind, these optical switches, okay, are very important. If you're going to keep your jukebox for, like I predict, 100 years, <laughs> you're going to make sure you have a good optical switch or a new one or know where to get it. At A&B Jukebox, we sell these switches. So if you want to get one, I wouldn't buy a used optical switch. I'd always buy new, okay? So that's all there is to it mounting a new switch to your old bracket, optical switch bracket. My name is Bruce Wentworth. It's been my pleasure having you here, joining us for this session, and we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.